configuring uh, OSPF stop areas. So uh, the task says configure OSPF area 3 so that R5 filters external routes out as they are sent from area 0 to area 3. And also said devices in area 3 should still have reachability to routes external to the OSPF domain. So that means it only wants us to configure the area 3 as a stop. Not totally stubby area and not anything else. So I'm gonna open up the uh, terminal for let me just minimize this stuff R5 okay this is R5 and I have 155 this this is in area 3 as this guy says area 2 well, here I made a mistake and um, uh, I just uh, swapped the areas. So here, area three is area two. So I go under the OSP process and I say area two question mark and I need to I need this guy. I specify this stop area. And as we know, the uh, configuration stop configuration is a symmetric uh, is a symmetric configuration we have to have it on both routers on all the routers in that specific area that we want it to be stopped so now as you'll see the area the adjacency is forced to reset and go down and it will stay to reset until it will stay down until we configure the other side too and then if I do show IPOS with um, neighbor you'll see that this guy with switch 2 is still down so I'm gonna bring up switch 2 in here if I do show IPOS with neighbor as you see we don't have uh, actually at uh, this yes now it's expired so so now I'm gonna go on the under the OSPF process and say area 2 stop And yes, now everything is up. Just ignore this. Uh, I have to find out what is wrong with that. So now if I do to show IP OSPF neighbor. Yes, this is down. But this one, um, that's the neighbor uh, adjacency with uh, switch 4 it's down because we have to we configured the OSPF for uh, we configured the stop for the whole area 2 that means it's uh, that the route uh, the switch 4 is in area 2 also so we have to go to switch 4 and do the same thing as you see the neighbor relationship gone down here too Go under the OSPF process and do the same thing. Area two, stop. Now, before I do this, I'm gonna go back and then just take out this, and I'm gonna show you the difference difference between the routing table before and after we do this. So, if I do show IP route, show. IP route you see that we don't have any routes and then if I do show IP OSPF neighbor neighbor is down so now I'm gonna go ahead in the area to stop adjacency reset I'll go up uh, exit start stay now it's on full state and let's see the table. The SPF is still calculating. Still calculating.
now we are getting all the so you notice that the stop configuration will let the LSA type 3 to, uh, to be flooded into the area but the only uh, LSA that is being filtered is LSA type 5 so as you see here we don't we don't see any um, external external route right but if I come to uh, here to area to um, router 5 and Lucio IP route you see we have E2 that means external type 2 route and if I do show IP OSPF database I will see router summary summary ASBR these are all the in here yeah, summary link this is type 5 LSA that's the external but here on switch 4 if I do show IP OSPF database I will not see any type 5 they're all only router LSA network summary LSA that this is network LSA type 2 and this is type 3 LSA so this is the configuration uh, for the stop area in the router. Thank you for watching.